to my channel. My name is Jen and I am back after a long, long hiatus. It was much longer than I anticipated. It took a ton of time for me to set up my new beauty room. Woohoo! What do you guys think? Woot woot! I, I love it. I think it's great. And so I have super fun new background. I'm in a new apartment. Um, I am now married and it's awesome. I did a recent vlog. I'll definitely go ahead and link that down in the description below so you can check it out. Today I have an exciting and very anticipated video um, of a, a haul many halls, many multiple halls put in to one large hall. And I, I'm going to tell you guys, I have a ton of stuff to go over. So let's go ahead, just get started. This video is going to be kind of long and I'm afraid because I don't want it to be too long. So I'm just going to try to jump in. So I have four nail polishes to show you. I've never really been that into blue, but I have two blue nail polishes to show you guys. I've been watching a lot of Just Face 90. I'll go ahead and link her channel down below. And she does a ton of nail polish reviews. And because I love the blue colors on her, I've been venturing into blue more often and I've actually really enjoyed it. So the first one, I've got which I haven't tried yet this is desert matte by essence it's a beautiful dusty blue color I also have the Orly O'Reilly I don't this one in um, color blast in nose in a book and this is from the beauty and the beast collection absolutely loves this color I wore this um, for a couple days and I really enjoyed it from Pretty and Polish I have this great mint green and it has hearts and gold flecks and uh, and white white circles in there. It is so beautiful. The swatches on the website were like to die for. And I was like, I have to get this. I haven't used it yet, but I'm really excited to. This is called My Best Investment. So pretty. The last one, which I actually bought because of Jess, is from Powder Perfect. This is called Beneath the moon and it is a beautiful like pinky mauvey lavender color and it has holographic shimmer in it and this lasted on my week on my weeks on my nails for two weeks I'm not even kidding it is so beautiful it lasts like a dream and it just is so lovely and feminine on the nails but still neutral so it's not like a huge pop of color and the holographic in it is just beautiful it is just this is probably like one of my top three favorite nail polishes of all, all time. Let's go ahead and move on to face. Um, I posted this on my Instagram. I got the Born This Way foundation from Too Faced. I have worn this a couple times. I got mine in the color ivory because the porcelain seemed to be a little too pink and I'm more yellow undertone. This is still a little bit dark for me so I do have to add some white makeup base in there with it when I use it. And I was super excited to try this because I thought that it was gonna be awesome because I heard only great things about it but honestly it didn't last very long on my skin it kind of clung to my dry patches so maybe if I, I need to use a heavier moisturizer before I use it but I'm not crazy about this foundation I'm not like I hate it it's not like my least favorite but I'm not crazy about it yet I've worn it about five or six times and it's just okay to me so I got the Maybelline super stay better skin um, concealer in 0 or 10 ivory. The problem with this is I can't use it on my under eyes. It burns my under eyes, which a lot of the Maybelline products do that to my under eye area. So it works well like around my redness around my nose and in between uh, my eyebrows, which I for some reason get a lot of redness there. What? So it works in that area, but I can't use it under my eyes, so I haven't been reaching for this as much. I got the Naked Skin Concealer, and I have absolutely been loving this. It is in the color Light, and uh, I, I couldn't, again, get porcelain because it was too pink undertoned, but this one is actually almost an exact match for me. It doesn't work for brightening my under eyes, but I don't really care because I don't necessarily do that all the time. I want it just to be a flawless transition between my under eye area and my skin, and it is is so lovely it blends like a dream it lasts a really long time the only downfall is it smells like paint to me like it legit smells like paint so I mean if smell is a really important thing to you you might want to avoid this but other than that I absolutely love it another purchase I got was the L'Oreal uh, true match Lumi and this is in rose it's one of those highlighters that has four different colors, and I actually really enjoy this as well. The only color I don't like is this yellow color, and that is only because um, it has like actual 
glitter like particles in it which I'm not the biggest fan of. I've been wearing this like crazy actually and it's kind of funny because what I do is I just like do a C shape and I I uh, kind of stay away from the yellow color and then I just put it on my cheeks and it looks beautiful. S love this product. More face products. I got three of the Too Faced um, Heart Blushes, the Love Flush. I got these because of the packaging. I love hearts. It's my favorite shape um, and so I had to have them and I absolutely adore them. I have Baby Love which looks like this. It's the most neutral one that I have. I have Love Hangover which is more of a pinky, uh, like a pinky coral color. It does lean a little bit more pink than coral though. And uh, I have Your Love is King, which you wouldn't suspect that this would look good on my fair skin because it's so dark, but I actually really enjoy this one too. So there are those swatched. Ugh, they're so nice. They're actually incredibly long wearing and they are the most long wearing uh, blushes that I have owned. I've never really had a blush that's like stayed on all day per se, but I came home after wearing one of them for the first time and I was like, holy cow, it's still in my cheeks, I still see my blush color. Two thumbs up for those, so great. Moving on to eyes, I got two new palettes, which I'm super excited about. I got the Lorac Pro Match palette, which looks like this. It has just some of the basic matte colors from the one and Lorac Pro 1 and 2 and I really love this. I've been pulling it out every day since I've got it because these are beautiful transition shades that you can use with any eye look and then these are so pigmented and creamy. My favorite one is Pink Mauve and Latte and Corduroy. Look at those. They're so... I mean they're the exact same shadows that are in the Lorac Pro so if you know what the Lorac Pro shadows feel like they're, they're pretty much identical. Look at how pigmented those are. So, so lovely. Absolutely love it. And uh, I also got the, the metal palette, which I wasn't planning on getting this, but after just watching the colors, I was like, oh, I have to get it. I'm wearing this rose gold on my eyelid today. Oh, so beautiful. This graphite and clover. Oh, so lovely. Absolutely love these. And although I, like I said, I wasn't planning on getting it, I would definitely suggest that if you have the, an Ulta, Ulta near you to go and swatch these because they are incredible. They are just so lovely. They're so creamy and smooth. They look almost like liquid on your eyelids and they're so nice. I really, really love them. Next, I got some um, the e.l.f. eyeshadow and eyeliner paint pot type thing uh, in the the beauty from the Beauty and the Beast collection and this one is Belle. It is a it's a gold color and it's like a moussey texture. I absolutely love the original Smudge Boss by e.l.f. They're my go-to like quick eye look. Love this one. So I saw this one and I really love Belle and I was like, I have to get that. And it's a really nice gold color um, and it stays well. It stays really pretty. It stays really pretty. It stays well and looks very pretty on the lid as well. So I really love that. I also got um, two eyeshadows from the MAC, what was it, Labisco. Everyone was gr going crazy for Boom Boom Room, and so I was like, I gotta get it, and I got it. It's super beautiful. It's like a brown, pink, green shift. So I was super excited. It's, it is life. It's right there. Look at that. So I was super excited when I got it, but when I swatched it, I realized that I already have this color, and it's the Urban Decay uh, Eyeshadow in Solstice. Look at that, the exact same color. I'll swatch them next to you, for you, next to each other for you. Literally the exact same color. Like, you cannot tell a difference. So I will be returning Boom Boom Room just because I have this one already in the Urban Decay. I don't see the purpose of having two. And then I also got uh, Last Dance from the La Disco, woo! La Disco, or is it just Disco? The Disco Collection? I don't know. But this one is more, is more pink. And it is, it's like a pink champagne goldy color. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Super, super pretty as well. I love this. This reminds me of like the Fairy Godmother from Cinderella, which doesn't make any sense because she has blue. Mm. I got two new CoverGirl products. Um, for eyes as well. I got the Super Sizer Mascara, which a lot of YouTubers love. So super excited to try this. 
didn't love it. It didn't do much for my lashes. I don't know if my lashes are just not like curled enough or if they're too dense because I'm Latin so my hair is a little bit more dense than the normal eyelash. Um, didn't really love this. However, the CoverGirl Intens Intensify Me um, eyeliner, which is super weird. Look at this tip. What? I know, weird. But I love this. Holy crap. Like, this lasts forever. It's super, super black. The only thing is you have to kind of play around with the tip because you have to get used to how it works. But once you get used to it, dude, I can sleep through this, like, take a nap. It stays on all through work. It's super, super, like, jet black. Like, look at that. Woo! This has replaced my physician's formula because it lasts longer. Love this. Finally, moving on to lips. And I have so much lip crap. So much. So much stuff. I, I was totally bummed because I tried for hours with the ColourPop li liquid lipsticks and I couldn't get them. My computer like wouldn't connect. It wouldn't let me order them. And it was just not good. And I was totally bummed. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to try the LA Splash ones. And I actually really like these. I'm wearing one of these today. I'm currently wearing Charmed. And I do have a lip gloss on top of it. This is a very neutral, like, brown color. So pretty. It's brown pink. And uh, these are incredibly drying, just like any matte lipsticks. So I like wearing them with lip gloss on top. It makes it not so drying for my dry dry lips. I also have ghoulish, ghoulish. It's showing up more pink, but it's actually quite gray. Um, I wore this one day for fun and it made me look like a dead person. <laughs> I also got Love Good, which is a deep red color. So pretty. That one. And then lastly, I got Aurora. Look at that. Woohoo! And these dry down lip mattes, so they do emphasize any lines that are in your lips. So definitely exfoliate, make sure that you have some moisture or some like moisture on your lips, chapstick or whatever, and then you can throw them on and they won't dry them out as much. I also got an Urban Decay lip gloss, which I have been wearing a ton lately. This is in Fail Bait. Um, I absolutely love this color. It's the perfect, like, pinky color. These ones are still a little bit sticky but they don't feel heavy on the lips and it just adds the most beautiful touch, touch of pink to my lips. It's like a natural pink color. Absolutely, absolutely wear it. I wear it almost every day at work. I also got a Lorac lip gloss. This is called Socialite. This is a great, a great, I just said great. This is a great nude lip gloss. So, so nice. It smells, it smells like sugar cookies. So pretty. Look at the gloss on that. Both of these I have worn a lot since I've got them. Moving on to drugstore lip glosses, I got two Essence XXXL Shine lip glosses. These are okay. I don't like these ones because they're more jelly based and so they don't pull off as much pigmentation. Like this one is just clear with like, with like blue sparkles. I don't even know if you'll be able to see it. It's just like a clear gloss, so that's kind of disappointing. If that's what you want, this is great. The shimmers are so small that you can't feel them on your lips, and they don't like stay in the crevices of your lips when they wear off. This one is more pigmented. It's kind of like a watermelony, um, watermelony color with some shimmer in it. Fabulous fuchsia. It's right there. So it's super, super sheer. Also got the baby lips lip glosses, and these are very similar. Um, to these. They're just very, very sheer. They don't give off a ton of color, but they feel nice on the lips. This one is Fab and Fuchsia. Looks like that. Again, jelly based, so they don't give off a ton of color. It's a little bit more light pink than the Essence one. And then I am wearing this one on top of the Charmed lip gloss that I have. So this combination is what I'm wearing today. And this one is called Tickled Pink. This is like a milky pink color, but it's very, very light payoff as well. I don't know if you can even see that. Are they worth their money? I don't know. If you like sheer lip glosses, try them out. But I typically like something with a little bit more pigmentation, something like um, the Urban Decay or the Lorac one. I also got two lipsticks from Milani. I got Matte Darling because I haven't tried their matte line. This is a beautiful, like, dusty, deep pink. 
so pretty. These um, don't feel drying on the lips, so that's really nice. And I also got a super fun color called Matte Flirty. Look at that. Kind of uh, looks similar to Rebel, like Rebel from MAC. So fun. I also got a lip pencil from the Lilac line. This one's Chocolat. This is a beautiful, natural, everyday, everyday pencil. These are almost like a semi-matte, but there's still enough moisture that they don't freak out your lips. Really, really love these. I bought like three or four of them when they originally first came out, like a couple years ago. So I was really excited when I saw these ones um, back out on display and I had to get it. Last lip gloss that I have to talk to you guys about is from All May. This is their liquid lip balm and this is in Blooming. It's a beautiful, beautiful pink color. It is a bit sheer, but it has just enough coverage for you girls who like very, very neutral, light makeup. This is gonna be a great option for you. It's right here. It feels amazing on the lips. It lasts a long time and it really nourishes your lips when you wear it. I absolutely, absolutely love this one. This one has become one that is always in my purse because it's a great grab and go gloss. Oh, it's just so, so lovely. Again, a nice like petal pink color, so pretty. That is it. That is my entire haul. It was long. I am so sorry. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I have missed chatting with you guys and being around you guys, so I'm so excited to be back. I have some collabs coming up. I have a couple great videos that I'm really excited to put out. So keep your eyes out for my channel, and I love you guys so much. Thank you for your constant support. I hope you guys are doing well. Please stay safe. I love your faces, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey. <coughs> <laughs> I have allergies, you guys, and they're killing me. But this is going to be the last haul of mine for a while just because I really want to focus on making sure that I can support Scott and that I get all of my bills paid, and I'm pretty sure you guys can understand that the loveliness of being an adult. Uh.